Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Cindy Nirenberg and this is week 24 of my A Year to 60 series. And um, 60 is right around the corner. So I only have like a couple more months to do this series. This is, it's really gone by fast for me. I hope it has for you too. Um, this week I had a gain. Um, it wasn't much, it was like four tenths of a pound, but it really made me stop and consider like, okay, what's happening? Like what's going on? And this week I noticed there's a little bit of emotional eating creeping in and the choices that I was making um, leaned towards some processed foods, which to be real honest with you, I don't feel well when I eat those kinds of foods. I know they don't sit well in my stomach and, and there I was eating them because I was feeling emotional. So I'm gonna get a grip on that this week. Um, just so that I can feel better. I'll feel better when I go to sleep and I feel better when I wake up, when I'm eating healthy, whole foods. Um, but also, I had to really consider, okay, what is, where are my goals? Where am I headed with this? Um, it made me notice like the trends in my body. The trends in my body are, when I look back, like I typically will lose some weight, like I lost over three pounds last week, and then I'll kind of either gain or kind of maintain around that same level. And then the next week I might have another weight drop. But if you remember, um, over a month ago, uh, I stopped and really took a look at my measurements. And I thought, well, gosh, it's been, I, I think I take my measurements around the 16th of each month. So um, I got the old tape measure out again. And you guys, <laughs> like, total of all the areas that I measure all over my body, I'm down another nine inches. So whether the weight came off this week or not, the inches are coming off. And some of the places, these are just a couple of the places that I measured, I lost in the past four weeks, I've lost two inches from my waist. I lost one and a half inches from my um, abdomen, that lower belly area and I lost an inch from my hips. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what, if I had to choose between losing weight and losing inches, I'm going with the inches every time. But I wouldn't have known that if I didn't have the data, if I didn't have everything documented from months and months and months. And um, the other thing that I just started, so I don't have a lot of data to share with you right now, is um, I am starting weekly weight averaging. So instead of getting upset that the scale's going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, what I'm doing is I'm just documenting my daily weight and then at the end of the week, I'm choosing to do it on a Saturday, on every Saturday I just average what was my average weight throughout the week. And that gets rid of all the fluctuations and that gives me a pretty good indicator of what I actually weigh. Um, and then I can look as the weeks go by, I can see what my weekly average was week after week after week. And if that weekly average is trending down, then I know I'm in the right direction. So then I don't have to freak out about what the scale says every day because I can't do anything about that. So those are my big tips for this week. If you guys really are watching it, you want to um, take those measurements because that the measuring tape doesn't lie. The scale, I think, lies to you, but the measuring tape does not lie. And then I love the weekly averaging so that you don't have to freak out about daily scale fluctuations. Because honestly, I could get on a scale tomorrow and this 0.4 pounds could be gone. So why worry about it today, right? Anyway, that's my scoop for the week. Um, I want you all to have a lovely, lovely week and I'll be back next week with more reporting on what's going on on my year to 60. Oh, a year to 60 and it's almost up. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye.